Mark, the sixth chapter, verse four and five. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God bless this person right now. Oh God, that listening to this message on miracle. Oh God, give them a miracle, a miracle that they are saved, a miracle that they know the Savior, and a miracle that they get invitation to have the Savior into their life. Bless this person right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mark, the sixth chapter, verse four and five, and it read, Hey, glory to God. Uh, 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 Mark, the sixth chapter. Hey, glory to God. Welcome to Life Journey. Glory Church International. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. Mark, the sixth chapter, verse number four and five, and it read, But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and his own house, and he couldn't, and he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folks, and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief, and he went around about the village teaching. He go to God. Let me read again, my friend. And he say, and he, and he could there do no mighty works, save that he laid his hand upon a few sick folks and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went, and he went around about the village teaching. He go to God. My message today, he go to God. And this, I believe this is part two of what, what happened, why we does not see miracles anymore. Why we does not see miracles anymore. What is a miracle? A miracle is an extraordinary event, manifested divine intervention in human affair, an extremely outstanding or usual event doing accomplishment. That's by uh, the Webster Dictionary definition. Now we see that 10 miracles happen in the book of Glory to God, Exodus. We say that the first miracle Jesus did in, in, in John chapter 2, he turned water into wine. And there are many more miracles. But today my, my assignment is to tell you why we does not see miracles anymore. And there are 10 reasons. Hey, glory to God. And the number one reason, and we see that in, in it say that he couldn't do no miracle because of their unbelief. So number one is we don't have faith. Glory to God. So miracles can manifest. We don't have faith. So miracles can manifest. The Bible say their unbelief. See, your unbelief stop. God, yes, your unbelief. Because the Bible say, this is the Bible say, the Bible say, it go to God in Hebrew, uh, uh, 11 chapter, verse 6, it say, without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must first believe that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And the Bible say, have faith in God. That's number one. Number two, we don't find God as a creator we serve idols. What? We don't find God as a creator. We think God is not a creator. We think God is just a fable. But God is a creator. He glory to God. He's almighty. He glory to God. He's the God that made everything. The Bible say in Genesis verse 1 and, and 1, he said, in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. Number three, we see we see God as a fantasy thought. That's what the Bible said. Cast down a high imagination and everything that exalts against the knowledge of God. So we can't see God as a as a fantasy thought. Number four, we see we are in financial gain than want to see supernatural. Yes, we want financial gain. So what we do, we fake it. Yes, we fake it to make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's number five. We fake it with earpiece in, in the preacher ear. 
and then you 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 saying things that you know ain't right fooling people you duping people and bamboozing people number six we trust in we trust in the heavenly father what we do now we believe in miracles i believe in miracle hey glory to god we trust in the heavenly father who art in heaven number seven reason salvation is the feature purpose of the supernatural Yes, salvation is is is, is uh, the, the feature purpose of the supernatural. Number eight, God does not have to prove facts that He exists. What God don't have to prove, prove nothing to nobody that He exists. So miracle, glory to God. The Bible says, "Oh foolish and 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 wicked generation, seek a sign. The only sign going to give you is a sign that we." Eat of Jonah and being a sign of the earth for three days and three nights. So God had to prove nothing to you that he exists. Number nine, the false prophet. What I say? The false prophet are on the rise with this, with signs and wonder. My friend, the last day, that's what the Bible say. Go to God, let no man deceive you by any means. Why? 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 Because they're going to come with signs and wonder. Look at the look at the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. Really your spare time, my friend. There are many people, my friend, gonna be deceived because of signs. They're gonna be deceived because of signs and wonder. The Bible talk about glory to God in the last days that how they're gonna kill a prophet. They're gonna give gift to one another, and the prophet gonna rise again. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling people, my friend, don't be so, don't be shocked or don't be be surprised by they no more. No miracles in this land because miracles still happen. But people, my friend, are so uh, are so emphasizing what happened to miracles. My friend, if you see, if you see people getting saved, if you see people go to God believing in the invisible God, that's a miracle. Hey, glory to God. So good God don't have to prove nothing to nobody. He's God and he'll need you to verify that he's God. So Manar is, is the false prophet or on the rise with signs and wonder. And I'm a tenth reason and I'm gone. Our focus should be on God, not on signs and wonder. The Bible says, Jesus say, the wicked and adulterous generation that seeketh after signs and wonder. My friend, signs should not verify God. Signs don't have to verify that God can do miracle. The greatest miracle that could happen is when you give God your life. When you say, Father, what should I do to be saved? That's the one, the biggest miracle that should happen. You verifying God that you love him, that you verifying God that, Lord, you saved me and saved my soul. Let me ask a question. Are you saved today? Have you given God your life? Have you given God your love? Have you given God your liberty? Have you given God your every essence of your life? That's the biggest miracle that can happen in lives today. So my message today was, why wow, we does not see miracles anymore because some of y'all don't believe in God. Some of y'all are atheists, some of y'all are agnostic, some of y'all are hurt because y'all say God hurt your feelings. My friend, God ain't no genie. God ain't no Santa Claus with good as a bad. And, and God is no sugar daddy. But God is God. Let me pray for you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Bless this person right now. Oh God, they're on the fence, but Lord, save them. Let them get off the fence and believe that you are a God and you don't need no verification from nobody. You are God all by yourself. Don't need no help. Don't need no hoax or don't need no hype. But Lord, if we can hear you, we can have hope and we can be healed. Bless this person right now, oh God. They need you, oh God. They need you because they're not saved. They need you because they need to see the Savior. They need you to say, Savior, come into my life and save my wicked soul. 
blessed right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.